So next up is women's singles and our first chance to have a look at the number one seed Wang Shoshian of China up against Linda Zechery of Bulgaria. <laughs> is the world number one. The 21-year-old from Suzhou in Jiangsu province in China. <laughs> Semi-finalist, bronze medalist last year at the World Championships when she was only in the number six seed. Lost out to teammate Wang Xin in the semi-final a year ago. But perhaps her best achievement so far is winning the Asian Games gold medal in Guangzhou last December. So here comes her left-handed opponent, Linda Zechery. Turned 24 at the end of July. Hard worker on court. Okay. Linda, shuttle or a racket? Shuttle. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Linda Zetri choosing which end to start. And Morton, I would have thought that's standard with players nowadays when you, you can score a point whether you're serving or not. <laughs> Yeah. Bound to be a difference in ends. And of course yeah, but I, you know, we've been watching it all day yesterday and uh, a few hours this morning. And, and I, honestly, I don't see a lot of difference. No. I, there's a little bit of side drift and, and that's it. And obviously that goes for, for both sides. So the world number one, Wang Shoshian. As I say, bronze medalist last year and her win-loss record for the year is stunning. 24 and 5. Won three titles already. The Super Series Finals, the Malaysian Super Series and, of course, the All England. And on top of that, reached the final at the first ever Premier Super Series event in Korea. So... She's been in great form. I think it was a bit of a blip at the Sudermann Cup when she lost to the German, Juliana Schenk. And after that loss, she actually got dropped by the Chinese team and replaced by Wang Xin. But her opponent, the 24-year-old, uh, as I say, 34 in the world rankings. Lots of tournaments towards that world ranking. Mm -hmm. 19 events she's played in the last 12 months. And you can see her win-loss record in the negative. She has reached a couple of quarterfinals, though, this year. The Danish International and also an event in the Maldives. Never had events in places like that when we were playing more <laughs> how come Maldives I fancy that yeah why not let's let's go and play <laughs> yeah but uh, Linda Zechery she's uh, a very hard worker on court but I think we'll see a distinct difference between these two singles players regarding their movement around oh, the court definitely the, the, the Chinese girl is, is a very good mover on the court and as you say Linda is uh, she's a hard worker uh, but obviously not half as fluent yes. as, as, uh, as the Chinese girl is. And, and I think that is one of the things that's going to make a major impact on this game. I think that Linda, she's got to work very hard and she's got to really try to play solid, proper, sharp shots in order to dent the Chinese player here. Yeah. I agree with that. Jakob Sinberg of Denmark, our umpire, and Ian Ross from England, the service judge. So as far as uh, this lady is concerned, only playing her second World Championship. Not bad to get a medal in your first ever World Championship no, so a year not. ago. 
As for her opponent, Linda Zetchery, well, she's making her sixth appearance here at World Championships. Started back in 2005 in Anaheim. Lost in the first round there to Keora Mori of Japan. Last year, lost to another Japanese player, Aigoto. Never passed the second round of a World Championship. Zetchery. Oh, she's. Um, I think she's a good player, and but she she's lacking a little bit of speed, and and that's the problem. She's um, she's she's uh, playing good shots, but I think that the fact that she's not quick enough, getting there, adding on the pressure, makes her not as good as the others, and that's why she's she's steady. She's get to the first, second rounds, and all that, and. But she doesn't progress further than that. Yeah. Well, she's a good fighter. She'll certainly fight throughout this match. Definitely. And she will have a smile on the face if she can get the opponent to run the wrong way once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> she usually like that. Yeah. <laughs> so the world number one, number one seed Wang Shoshian of China, getting this second round encounter underway because of course Wang Shoshian didn't have to play the first round as her seeding position gave her a bye Six in over. the first round whereas Zetri no. became a player from Mauritius in comfortable style 21-7-21-12 so so well. And we've actually four. got one of the Chinese players here, Morton, who's very, very expressive on court. Yes. Very vocal when she yeah. wins a rally. She's a little yell of delight and and has got more of a personality shining through in the way she plays than Let's some of on. her compatriots. Yeah, she's very emotional about it, and it's. Two, I, I think one. it suits her really well. I, I like to watch her play, um, and uh, you know she's she's got such commitment in what she's doing. Service fault called. Oh, service fault called. Service over. Oh, nice calling the service fault, saying Two, racket not four. facing in a downward direction. Oh, good spot. Yeah. See, that's that's where that's where you see it. She's Two. playing this cross court drop, and she knows that she's playing a fast opponent, getting up there very early. But she doesn't follow her shot. She's scared of moving forward too much because then possibly the flick is coming, and that's where she's exposed. In in my in my opinion. Service over. Three, oh. Interesting that she chose to serve forehand there, having been faulted Four, on her last three. service playing the backhand serve. Yeah, but then, you know, you can either do two things, you can continue what you've done before and say that was a mistake and, you know, you carry on or you change it for a while and then you get back to it later on. Just Five, wide with the smash. Three. Yeah, she's hitting well. She's going for it. There's no doubt it's a, it's a good smash. It's bad luck. Shot. Yeah, that's what Linda is good at. She's good disguising her shots and uh, play with decent power. So, um, you know, she can wrong foot people. That's what she did there. Oh, that's perfect so length on the clear. Just inside the back line. Six, four. Oh, plum on the line, even. No doubt, it was in. No, 
Uh, she's got to watch out. It's a good rally. Oh! Yeah, well, delighted with the outcome of that, Zuchery. Five, six. But even though that Linda won it, I'm telling you, it's played it's right into the hand, hands of Wang, this, this rally. This is what she wants. This is how she wants to play it. And longer rallies, keep the pace up, making Linda work. That's what she wants. Even though she lost it, it's played into her hands. I mentioned right at the start, Morton, the fact that Wang Shoshian had had a bit of a blip at the mm. Sudaman Cup first group match against Germany, lost yeah. to Juliana Schenk. And I have to say, since then, she's been struggling with her form. Last 16 of the Asian Badminton Championships, uh, also last 16 of the Indian Indonesian yeah. Super Series. She lost to Teen in Singapore. In the semi-final. Yeah. And uh, I know you were coaching that dinner on, on that occasion. We were talking yesterday about Chen Long and the fact that he lost to the Guatemalan player, a huge upset. And you were talking about the effect that might have on the rest of the team. And I just wonder the fact that Wang Shuxian has been struggling since losing to Juliana Schenk, mm. whether that match yesterday might make her even more nervous for for perhaps this tournament and these opening rounds? You see, there, there is this enormous pressure on the Chinese team. And in, in all honesty, um, they're, they're really strong. But, but sometimes it's, it's a bit too much, I think. They, they have to perform to perfection always. I, I obviously know the coaches, I know the people in charge, and they, they put so much pressure on their players to perform well. And I, I would say, especially in the ladies' singles, we see that they're crumbling under pressure now and again. Yeah. Well, I mean, you think back to last year and, and do you remember the uh, Uba Cup final when China lost surprisingly to South Korea? Yes, they did. And Wang Yi Hun, who was the number one singles player in the world at the time, lost to Bei Xiong He. Yeah. And Nine, following that result, six. Lee Yongbo, the head coach, said, uh, you may be number one in the world. I'm not going to select you for the Asian Games. Hmm. What, wasn't selected as one of four singles players yeah. and despite being number one in the world, <laughs> said, you've got to prove yourself again. Yeah. Yeah, now, how much pressure is that? That's a lot of pressure, but they have so many to take from. You know, that could never, ever happen in, in, in a European country. We would yeah. be happy to have one in top five and they will always be guaranteed a place to play. Yeah. You, you wonder, though, what it does to Ten, the player at the top. You know, the, the number one, you've lost one match, you get dropped from the Sudaman Cup team, yeah. and, and then when your number two player loses, you sort of think, oh, well, our number three is injured, so we better go back to our number one. <laughs> it, it doesn't necessarily inspire the player with confidence. No, it's, it's, it's a little bit what I would call management by fear. Yeah. Perfect way to describe it. Thank you. Oh, yes, read it so no, early. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've seen it on a few occasions, not, not even a few, I think quite, quite a lot, where this uh, punch clear is coming to, uh, to the forehand uh, side of, uh, of Linda. And, and then the, she's either having to leave it or she's playing a, a kind of a soft shot. And then the follow in here, here comes the follow in, and it's finished. And we've seen exactly that, uh, I think, already five or six times. Yes, and that's the one thing that Zetri doesn't do. Having played the shot, she doesn't follow in looking no, for the next one. No, she's not quick enough for that. Yeah. So the five point advantage yeah. is in favour yeah. of yeah. world number one, Wang Shishan. Yes, another Danish coach. 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we talked about this yesterday in your yeah. programme in Denmark for bringing young coaches on and yeah, this is Nadja Luduk, and she's she's doing a great job with um, a lot of the um, the girls, the ladies in, in in Denmark. She's really doing a, a good job. Ah! 
she's lucky. I was going to say, either that's very good early judgment or she was lucky. You know, they were very sarcastically said, you would say, well left. <laughs> She's addressing the shuttle so early. She's got so yeah. many options. Yeah, the, soft, uh, the, the, the other shot is simply just too slow, too soft. Options are too great. Two errors creeping into the game of Zetri. There's one thing I don't understand about the game of Wang. If you try to notice now, maybe she's not doing it so blatantly. But look at how long time it takes for her to surf. And she she is a player that's got to live on the physical, the physical aspect of the game. But she's giving the opponent an opportunity to recover 15, the whole time. Seven. I'm not saying she should rush it or anything or stress the opponent, but I still think she's taking an awful long time. And if the physical is a, a, an important part of her game, she's sort of giving that advantage away. Yeah. So it's a point that, eight, that I have noticed 15. on numerous occasions. In fact, you know, I. I I think I've even discussed the fact that she's taken so long in between that, you know, it, it's yeah. almost disrupting the game. It's Games it. are taking... It's like tennis, 30 seconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the head shot there from Wang Shoshian. Arching her back, almost contorting her back before then moving forward in court to play that beautiful spinning net shot. Guys. Nine seventeen. Return. 18, 10. Ah! Oh, 
Hawks found the line again. 19-10. Yeah, it's perfection. Two points away from this opening game. That's oh, that's wild. Yeah. 20, game point, 10. Chang Ming, the current Olympic champion, watches on, in charge of the singles players now. And 10 game points now up to the world number one. That's actually 20. one of the things I want to see about Wang in the future. You know, you always look at players and say, okay, what can they develop? And I, I'm looking here, you know, she's got to develop her attacking skills because she cannot completely rely on, on, on what she's doing now. Yeah, good yeah. 21 11. The margin First of victory game, in the opening game. Bang Shishan, 21-11. Purpose for walk from Zhang Ning. Pleased with her player, and rightly so. 15 minutes for that opening game, 21-11. It's interesting to me, Morton, the, uh, the fact that you should say that about the attacking game, because you know, you think back a, a generation of players, and there's. In, in fact, we watched one of the Chinese born players yesterday that's now changed allegiance, We're representing France to be Hong Yang. You think about the German uh, player, Zhu Wai Wen, and some of the Chinese players were allowed to leave the Chinese setup because they were regarded too short to really make it in world terms. And there was very much, it appeared that there was a policy in China that the women singles players should be taught so they could be aggressive and attacking yeah. and that policy seems to have changed now they're having much shorter players pushing much, them much. Yeah. but they aren't as aggressive you yeah. know they're, they're they're great athletes great runners but they really aren't as aggressive the, the one of the top Chinese players at the moment that I think has the potential to be very very special is Wang Yi Han uh, exactly I was just it was the tip of my tongue yeah, yeah. I, I agree she's she's taller she's got more muscles to play with yeah uh, no doubt uh, um, I, but I, I think you know it, it goes there's ups and downs and obviously it depends on what kind of players is, is progressing in, in your country and all that uh, but China has, has got so many to take from so obviously even players like uh, Pi Hong Yan and, and, and the German girl as well you know they're completely not good enough for the system then they go out they go into Europe into another country and suddenly they become top five in the world mm. I think that's quite interesting second game double play well, she only needed 15 minutes to take that opening game 21-11 can she reproduce that sort of form in the second Linda Zetri of Bulgaria can certainly have something to say about that one love. Of course, we had a glimpse there of the Danish coach again, working with Linda Zetri. Yeah. Is she uh, part of uh, the international academy where uh, Zetri trains and practices? Or yes, is the, we have a few, a few academies in Denmark, and uh, she's attending one of them. Love. And this is uh, south of uh, Copenhagen. It's called Greve. And Grave is one of the top clubs. I actually think they won the national team championship last year, and um, or last season, just over. And uh, you know, they have a very, very nice setup, and she's she's part of that. But she's not playing in the Danish league as such. Okay. Um, that's the problem with playing the cross court. It's yeah. either got to be really one, a winner. Two. Or you have to follow. Or you have to follow. You have to follow. Uh, you don't know how many times I'm telling my players, you know, follow your shots, please follow your shots, come on. You know you have to follow the shot. And despite whatever I say, sometimes they're still standing back and they're waiting. And they say, I, it's supposed to be a winner, yeah, but if it's not a winner, what are you going to do then? Yeah. Two, 
Real missed opportunity. She was unhappy with that. Yeah. What an opportunity. And for a player that relies on her movement and her consistency, to see an error, unforced error like that, is quite extraordinary. That's a nice shot. Really Four, good shot. Two. Bang. Bang. It's punching it down the line. From a quite difficult position, that's really well played. Interesting that umpire Jakob Sundberg also having a word with Ron after that rally, saying, yeah. don't try and influence, influence the line. Exactly, the line that's what she was so trying to do. And it was well in, well yeah. in. Three, in, in badminton terms. just a moment ago about uh, some of the Chinese players in the past being allowed to leave the setup in China and coming to Europe and then suddenly having been regarded as no hopers in the yeah. Chinese system become top five players in the world and you said yes. that was an interesting thing in itself you've obviously got a theory there is it because they can have the freedom to develop themselves as personalities in in I, a more I, relaxed environment in in Europe or what is the thing? I, I think so not not Four. everybody uh, is top of the pops when they're 20 it takes uh, sometimes a uh, longer time for for other players and and they get the time to develop and they get a lot of focus because they're most likely the best player in the country where they um, end up so they get a lot of attention and obviously they get more time and, and as you say a, a possibly a more relaxed atmosphere and you know they develop as, as players and human beings and eventually they get there yes all sort of ties in with what we were saying about the pressure on the top chinese women singles player and the and the management by fear the fear of if you don't perform yeah, as world number one you're out you're not yeah. selected for asian games you you know i've got another 10 players i can pick from exactly the standard yeah. is expected to be so high in china and uh, obviously if you're not performing on the day or just a few few bad results uh, okay you're out take the next they yeah. have so many to take from it's a very harsh system but it has made them the best badminton nation oh, in yeah, the world absolutely you, you can, no doubt about it They're all respect for the chinese and, Seven, and the way they play the five. game they are a major major force <laughs> just swaying her body one way hitting the shuttle the other Oh, I thought that was going wide. It was, it was. But possibly the wind could have, the drift could have kept it in, Eight, but it five. looked out. 
But I think very wise decision of Wang, you know, don't take any chances. Uh, she's only 7-5 up now, 8-5 up, you know, in, in terms of, of the, the overall strategy of the game. I think it was a very wise decision. Oh, that's that's a punch clear again. Very good, isn't it? Yes. Nine, five. Just explain to us what we mean by the punch clear then, Morton. Uh, it it's depends on, on how high you play the clear. If you play it with a, a lot of heights, it's, um, it's, it's a defensive clear. And when you play really flat and just over the opponent's racket head, it's a very flat clear, it's a punch clear, it's a attacking clear. And if you can play that even with a disguise with kind of a delay, then it's really good. Yeah. As indeed Wang Shoshian did on that occasion. In fact, the last two rallies. Take a look at this. Holds, holds, suddenly punches through. Beautiful. On a run of four straight points. From 6 5 to 10 5. She had a five-point advantage in the opening game, the mid-game interval. One better here in the second game. It's a six-point advantage to world number one, Wang Shoshian. I again think it was a very wise decision, you know, when she was 7-5 up and not leaving that one. Had it been in, it would have been 7-6. She, she was on the run and now she's uh, six points uh, ahead. I think, you know, again, the management of the game, it's good, clever decision. Don't take chances. You see so many players taking chances in that. Yeah. Port one, 20 seconds. Port one, 20 seconds. Speaking Danish. <laughs> Speaking Danish. <laughs> Did you catch anything she was saying? No. Yeah, a little bit. She said if uh, if she, she's putting pressure on you in, 11, the, in the deep corners at the, at the baseline, she you got to do, and then I couldn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> so that's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Play. I don't know if you could hear all the Six, clapping in the background. 11. It was because of on, on the next court, uh, there's a match between Hiroshi from Japan and Marin from uh, Spain. And Marin is only 18. She's one of the up and coming players from Europe. And she is uh, the junior European junior champion just a uh, few months ago. And she's doing really well. She, she's getting in on the scene and she only lost 23-21 to Hiroshi, which is, who is uh, very established on the world scene. You're not kidding. She reached the final of the All England singles this year. There you see. I don't think she has got the stamina to continue to play a match at this level, but she was, I think, 2017 up. So that's good for Europe. Having players coming through. Nice play. Oh, that's digging herself out of trouble. Yes. Couldn't do it her second time. Seven, twelve. Delightful. Eight, yeah. Super shot. She took that only at about shoulder height. Yeah, but it's good. That's what she's good at. She can hide it behind the back there. 
nicely played. It's going wide. Yeah, it's a good little fight Nine, back here. Twelve. Of the deficit it was six points adrift, now just three. Ah! Yeah, perfection on the net shot. Ten, twelve. This certainly is a good little fight back. Help by the neck cord. Well so once again, the big difference, she came from above the shuttle. Yeah, look at that one. Again, it's a cross-court shot. She's out of balance. She's got the full court to cover. And obviously the, the shot is playing a little bit too loose as well. A little bit of insecurity is creeping into the game of Wang, and and that's you know if she's playing against players of, of even higher standard than Linda, you know she could get into trouble as what we discussed in the beginning of this game. Yeah. Yes, that's nice. That's very nice indeed. And of course, it emphasizes well, your point 13. that you made right at the start that she hasn't really got a weapon. She hasn't got a winning shot that you can suddenly pull out and no. say, OK, instead of just uh, playing consistent and trying to outmaneuver my opponent, I'm, I'm going to start playing one or two w winners just to sort of relax myself and get exactly. myself back into the lead. Exactly. And, and if she wants to, to play what she's playing, she has to play clears like that the whole time, get up there. Now she's got to push it. That's it. And push it again. That's it. That's what, how she's going to play the whole time. Yeah. That's how she, that's the pressure she's got to maintain the whole time. Is she relaxing just a little bit? Her game is kind of falling apart. Well, number one's <laughs> yeah. game is falling apart. I, I was also saying it's <laughs> very low. I didn't mean it like that, but no, I'm, no, sure, no, I'm no. sure you know what I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's interesting because both you and I watched her at the Sudderman Cup. We both watched her in the Far East, the, the last couple of Super Series tournaments. And, of course, you coached Tina mm. to, to beat her in that semi-final yeah. in Singapore. And so, obviously, there are frailties, those weaknesses, yeah, no there's gaps. things that can be exploited. Absolutely. And that's what we obviously have to try to to do to the maximum. That's lovely. Now that's where you do see the difference in the drift, isn't it? Because you really did punch through with that clear. Yeah. And she was hitting it hard. Stayed well in. Yeah, way. Not even close. Oh, good judgment. Just wide. So over. 13, 16. Again, I think Linda has been uh, really clever exploiting that uh, short uh, backhand corner 
of, of Wang. She's uh, made some uh, mistakes on her defense on that side. She's uh, pushing it wide as well and so on. There's uh, a little gap there. And here it comes again and mistake. Service over. 17, 13. Yeah, she often doesn't seem to have the poise and balance when she's playing the round the head shot that no, she's her falling, opponent does. Falling out of court. Yeah. Have to work on her physical strength. Nicely taken at the net. When you say work on her physical strength, are you talking about leg strength or core 18. stability or a combination? Core, core. And obviously a combination, but core, core is very, very important, especially if front and back. Yeah. Three points away from a place in the third round. World number one, Wang Shoshian. That's. Service over. 14, 18. Nice. Good pace. Really good pace of Wang there. 20 match point. Yes, 14. and just to demonstrate on cue when she's playing around the head shot, how imbalanced she is. Mm. 200 kilometers an hour. It's pretty good for ladies in this match. 124 miles per hour. Very good. It's match points, of course. It's in. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. First time of asking. And a very competent opening game, opening match, as far as Wang Shoshian is concerned. Job done 11, well, and job 14. done in two straight games. Confirmation of the score, 21-11, 21-14 in 36 minutes of play. So Wang Shoshian safely through to the third round and she will meet the winner of Elizabeth Khan from England and Pontip Borana Prasutsuk, the number 10 seed from Thailand. So that awaits the third round but safely through today's match.